Hi, and welcome to our weekly House Church Shepherds Bible Study. The first week of February is a lesson for Sunday, February 5th. It is about Samuel's birth and calling. At this time, Israel never had a king. It had always been a theocracy ruled by God, and God communicated his messages with the people through priests, prophets, and judges. Samuel was one of those messengers. He was one of the great Hebrew prophet and the last judge of Israel. Let's go and read some important Bible passages and learn about Samuel's birth. There was a man named Elkanah who had two wives, Hannah and Peninnah. Although Hannah was loved by her husband, she had no child and wanted a child. Hannah prayed and prayed as she was teased by Peninnah for a long time. As Hannah traveled to an annual festival in Shiloh, Hannah prayed so hard for a child that a priest named Eli heard her prayer. He encouraged Hannah and prayed that God would answer her prayer. He said, go in peace and may God grant you what you've requested from him. She prayed that if she was granted a son, she would give him back to serve the Lord. Soon after, Hannah became pregnant and named him Samuel. When Samuel was old enough, Hannah kept her promise to the Lord. Hannah took Samuel to a priest named Eli, and Samuel studied and learned under supervision of Eli. Samuel became Eli's helper when he was just a boy. Then lying down in the tabernacle, Samuel heard voices. God called out and spoke to him. When God appeared to Samuel, he spoke and said, it was time for Eli's ministry to end, and it was time for Samuel's to start. From that time on, God continued to speak to Samuel. Samuel's life began from a faithful prayer of his mother. After Eli's death, Samuel became the judge of Israel. From the beginning, God was with Samuel. Samuel became one of the great Hebrew prophets after Moses. He was also known as the last judge of Israel who led his people from the threats of the Philistines. An example would be that the Lord intervened with a storm that routed the enemies and established Samuel as God's man when there was an attack from the Philistines. Please share with your Moktang key sharing points. You can communicate with God through prayers. God will answer your prayers in time.